Hey, good evening, friends. It's Carl. Welcome back to the bathroom. It's time for the Thursday scrape. Hope everybody's doing good today. I am, uh, I'm good. We're one day closer to the weekend, and I'm excited about that. What I am not excited about is this. Look at that thing. That's the uh, cut. One of the two. I got another one back here. It's not quite as bad. Cuts that I got from that gem bullet tip. Thanks everybody for the uh, the well wishes and the condolences on the bad shave. And I figured out what had happened was is the blade. I'll just show you guys. The blade was sitting in the tray, but it was sitting too far forward. So there was a lot of blade exposure and the corners weren't held in their little spots. So the corners were catching and uh, just... Chewing me up. So anyway, that's what that's all about. Now, on to today's shave. Nothing super special. It's going to be a real quick one because I'm just going to take it easy and let this thing heal. So what are we using? Pre-Barbasol. Almost done with that. Brush. Omega Bore 10,098. Post is the after. Soap. The Little Tim's Mahogany Lavender slash... Franken soap, been blooming. So, eat a little bit of that on the face. And, like I said, it's got a little bit of Williams, got a little bit of uh, Soap Commander Serenity, maybe a little bit of the uh, Cella, and then maybe Ruds. So, it's the Katie's Bubbles, the Red Suds, the Dark Side. I'm going to do like a 10 second load. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 seconds. See what kind of lather we can get. This little Tim soap, man, it really. And I know there's other soaps in there, but I'm thinking most of this is little Tim's. And it really does a good job. It's a benzonite clay soap. You guys have heard me sing the praises of this soap before. It uh, creates a nice rich lather. The slickness is good. Maybe not always the, the it's not the slickest soap in the world, let's be honest. But it's a good slickness. It's got a good post shave feel. Um, and like I said, for small batch soap made by a barber, a full time barber who makes it in his spare time um, and uses Texas rainwater it's kind of a cool gimmick and it's a good soap it really is if you get a chance to try it I can highly recommend it and uh, hey I've got a couple of brand new tins I may put in a contest here pretty soon you never know So, 10 second load, look at this lather, could probably actually take some more water. Look at that, that's just, look at those peaks. Alright, so, let's get shaving. What are we using to shave tonight, Carl? Well, tonight, like I said, if I can get the soap out of my eye, it's going to be a quick, simple shave, and I'm going to be using the uh, the Lord L6. That's the long-handled Merker Head Pot Metal Aluminum Razor. It's got a Lotus blade in it, third use. And... Uh, this is one of the most user-friendly and unsung quality razors out there. I mean, it's 10 bucks on Amazon. I get consistently smooth, comfortable shaves off of it. I don't think I've ever met anybody or seen anybody who's used it who's not liked it. Are there better razors? Absolutely. But I love this razor. It's a good shaver, inexpensive, 
And man, if you're looking to try a DE razor, you can't beat the price on it and the quality and the comfort. The blade lines up every time, no muss, no fuss. It's just a quality budget razor. So yeah, it's uh, it's Thursday night. Hope everybody's doing well. Weekend's upon us. Anybody got any big plans? Not much here. Uh, about to get some rain starting tonight. So um, we'll see what happens. Cinco de Mayo is Saturday. So if you know, have a margarita if you like to drink and some tacos. Celebrate Cinco de Mayo. That's your thing. For me, Cinco de Mayo, man, it's fun. Uh, a lot of interesting memories, you know. We always get together and have barbecues. Being of Hispanic descent, we, uh, you know, like to make some, you know, some carne, carne asadas and, you know, grill some chicken and all that good stuff. But, uh, man, it was 2006, Cinco de Mayo, 2006 when I first started having symptoms of my cancer. So, a little bittersweet, man. Bittersweet, I'd spent the day, it was a good time, man. I'd spent the day uh, skateboarding with a buddy of mine. We did a little barbecue, had some barbecue for, you know, me and him and his wife and daughter and a couple other guys. Skateboarding in the pool. A little barbecue there at the pool and got home that night. And, Stomach wasn't feeling quite so good. Figured I was just dehydrated and threw up a few times. And after that, that tumor in my stomach just grew and grew over the next couple of months. And uh, I threw up food every day, seven times, or seven times, as many times as I tried to put something in my stomach. It came out for the next four months until they diagnosed me with cancer. So, bittersweet on Cinco de Mayo. But, uh, you know, I am cancer-free since 2007, so I can't complain. Second pass. I don't know why I'm rambling about that, but Cinco de Mayo story. Second pass. Gosh, I love this razor and this soap. I'm almost going to be sad when it's all gone, but I have another tin. Not this scent, it's a cedar, I think it's just cedar wood, a cedar scent, which is nice. And I've also got a little Tim's Christmas scent, Ebenezer, great soaps. I got a Bay Rum and a Texan scent as well that I got for the giveaway for 700 subs and I'm going to be giving those away again here pretty soon we'll be having another contest so stick around and we'll see maybe if you're interested you can win some handmade Texas soaps gosh second passes done quick fast and in a hurry. All right, third pass. Well, looky there. Big day at work tomorrow. We are uh, the EMS company I work for. Built a new administrative slash uh, headquarters kind of building where we're going to have all of our clinical practices and our community health and administrators and 
records and warehouse storage and all that good stuff in one huge building instead of being spread out all across the, uh, the area, the county. And so we're moving our offices there tomorrow. That'll be fun. So probably won't be doing a lot of patient care, which is okay. Be doing a lot of packing. We've been packing for the past week. And uh, then unpacking, starting on Monday. They're gonna, we're gonna finish all the packing tomorrow and then we're gonna get moved over first thing Monday morning. So when I get to work on Tuesday, it'll be a brand new shiny building. I'll have a brand new office, a brand new office mate, and I'll get to unpack. And then I'll be back to business as usual. A little nick there. I think I nicked myself uh, the other night when I was shaving. So I think I just reopened that one. Fantastic. Good night. That's a great shave. This razor. That's a good combination, chill enough to remember that. This Lavis blade. And the Lord L6. I get a good shave with it with most razors, or with most blades. But this Lotus blade, exceptionally smooth and comfortable. That's it. You get rinsed off. Super quick shave, guys. Not much to it at all. Good there. Silky smooth, but that's on Sunday. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great uh, Thursday night, uh, Friday morning, and on into the weekend. I am going to uh, do the post off camera, clean up the bathroom, and then uh, sit down for a quick read. Hope you have a great evening, great rest of the week. Hope your weekend is nice. And go spend some time with your friends and family. It's super important. Thanks a lot for spending a little bit of time with me. Hopefully I'll see you on Sunday for the Silky Smooth Sunday Shave. Have a great night. God bless.